What's up everybody, I'm DJ LaFave and we are going to quickly show you how to connect Voice Meter Banana, get it up and running in under 60 seconds, and then I'm going to go a little bit into what different pieces make up the application itself and how you can connect your microphone and maybe some music and send it over Zoom or over Discord or maybe into a virtual DJ uh, configuration for you. So here we go. You've gone to vb-audio.com and you've downloaded Voice Meter Banana. You've installed it. Now what do you do? That's why you're here. Here we go. So watch and listen and then make your changes. All right, watch and listen really quickly about what I'm going to show you and then make your changes. On Voice Meter Banana in the top, click on the A1 button. This is going to select the output device. So where is our audio going to go? It's going to go to a speaker or headphones. Here I've given an example of going to your Realtek audio. That's just the generic normal driver for audio on your computer, but pick whichever one works for you. The second thing you're going to do is on this fourth channel right here, this fourth row, the voice meter VAIO, I want you to make sure that A1 is selected. What this is doing is, is taking the audio coming in from your desktop and sending it out to your headphones. All right, so now we have to tell Windows what to do. So in the bottom right, click on the little speaker icon in Windows 11. Then you're going to select a sound output. Then the final step is to select voice meter input VAIO. That's it. Congratulations. You are now connected to voice meter. But how do you make more stuff happen? And what are all these different pieces and parts of this application? I bet you want to know a little bit more. A little bit more? Well, I'm ready to teach you a little bit more about the application itself. And it'll be really, really quick. Really quick. And then we'll do a live demo for you. All right. So you'll notice here that there is a cassette tape in the top right. See this cassette tape? This cassette tape? That's a cassette tape for anybody who was born after 1990. You don't need it. That is for recording within the application itself. None of you are here to record. I, I can almost guarantee that. And if you are, well, then let me know and I'll make a video on it. So on the left-hand side are your inputs. On the right-hand side are your outputs. So sound in, sound out. Both ways. Pretty easy, right? Let's talk about the inputs. The left-left side where it is uh, the three items right there. Those are your physical inputs. And then on the right-hand side is virtual inputs. So a physical input could include microphones, USB audio devices, etc. Anything that you are plugging into your computer that is getting sound in. Virtual inputs are desktop apps, like we just changed our computer uh, desktop to send all audio directly into voice meter. Now, other apps such as Discord and uh, Virtual DJ, you can actually tell it where to route the audio to. So in, in those, I'll give you an example as well as we move on. Uh, on the right-hand side is outputs. So uh, of the outputs, you've got your three physical outputs, which we selected earlier here. You can have up to three outputs for physical. And then you also can control the volume and the gain. You might want to call it the gain, the volume. It does the same thing, makes it louder, makes it quieter. Same thing for the virtual side. So for your outputs into, so when you're sending your mic and your music over to Zoom or to Discord, this is where you would control the volume right there, right there on the physical uh, strip, we'll call it. I think that's what they call it in the actual stuff. So the physical items, again, are going to be speakers or headphones, and then the virtual is where we're sending our audio out to, whether it's to Discord, to Zoom, to Virtual DJ. That is what that is all about. Now it's time for a live demo. We are just cruising, cruising through this. Might be the fastest, most informative voice meter tutorial you guys have ever, ever have. So we're at that point. If you've enjoyed it, like, subscribe. I do a whole bunch of audio visual content and whatnots. All right, so right here is the actual application voice meter banana. This is what it looks like. So you're, you're a little bit schooled up on it. What we've done so far is we have selected on here A1 and we've done our output device. So I'm doing mine through my, my Zoom L8. That's where my speakers are connected to. So that, that is how I have that all set up. When you want to set up a microphone, well, you can go up here and click on Hardware Input 1. Hit the drop down and just select whatever microphone you guys have connected. It's uh, pretty simple there, pretty simple. And if you want to rename it, just right click on that area and you can rename it. That's it. Just right click and rename. So. We want to send things out, right? I told you earlier the virtual outputs. This is the B1. This right here is the outline. So anything that I want to send out, I'm going to send my microphone out, and I'm going to be sending my virtual line out. So think of this now. We don't need these guys because those aren't being used. We're not using those. No, we're not. But they came in standard after you download it. So we're going to take our microphone. We're going to put it out on B1. 
We're going to take our desktop audio. We're going to put that out on B1. So when we are going into another application and we want someone to hear that, that is the microphone that we are going to, to select inside of that application. A quick, easy, breezy um, example for you right now is if I opened up Zoom, right? In Zoom, in the top right, click on Settings. The setting window opens up in my other window, of course, because nothing ever does what you want it to do. So for audio right now, for the microphone, we are going to make sure that we select Voice Meter Output VAIO. That's it. Well, DJ LeFave, how do I listen to what people are saying on Zoom now? Well, because we don't want to send when people are speaking their audio right back out to them, we don't want to send the speaker right here. We don't want to send it right there. We don't. That's not something we want to do. Instead, we could send it to the second virtual input, and you don't have to really understand this if you're just doing this as I'm telling you, right? That's, that's, that's pretty much it. So right here, you would select voice meter aux input. What that is going to do is it is going to take the uh, Zoom audio from people speaking, and it's going to send it down this line. And what do you do if you want to hear that? Well, you have to then send – all this is, is audio routing. You have to send it to our speakers. So right there, going A1 up to our speakers. So we're going to test the speaker, and you're going to see that it is coming in on this line. You can see that right there. That's it. That's it. Really easy. Now, if I uncheck this – you no longer hear it coming over the line because it's no longer coming into my mixer, right? I'm silent. But if I'm sending it back out, you can hear it. Very, very simple. And if you want to control the volume of that as well, you can, you can click that right here. So we'll stop that. Now, you want to go send some Spotify audio over to, uh, to your peeps? Well, it's already set up in the first step that we did where we, um, I don't use Spotify that much, but a lot of people do. Uh, our audio has already been set up to send the audio out over our desktop. So when I hit play here, I'm gonna turn it down. You see it coming in through the setup we already did earlier, through the VAIO input. And you see it over here going to the output. If I uncheck this B1, you'll notice that there's no more music going out. We can still hear the music, but the people on the other side cannot because we unchecked B1. If I check B1 again, Music's going out again. So how does that look on Zoom? If we had the Zoom window open, well, we go back to our settings, back to our settings, which opened up on the other window again, again it did. Go to audio, and as the volume is turned up, they're not getting anything. Now we hit B1. See that? See that? Of course you do, of course you do, because you're still watching. So that's going, that's going. We can turn off Spotify now. So that, that's your Zoom configuration. And again, if you guys have any questions, you uh, feel free to put them into the comments. Now, if I were to open up Virtual DJ per se here, Virtual DJ, how would I get Virtual DJ into there? Well, we're going to just take uh, any song here, any song right there. Now, inside of your audio settings in the top right, your audio, what I want you to hear is for your master output. I want your master output, again, to go to aux. It could be any of these. We'll do waspy. So aux VAIO, and we don't need a mic input. Don't need that. So we'll hit apply. Now all of our audio is going out over aux. So when I play this song, you see it coming in over here. And then all you have to do is tell it where to go. We're going to send it over to Discord. We're going to send it over to Zoom. Or wherever you're going to send it, your mic input is going to be VAIO input. That's it. That's it. Super simple. Hope you guys enjoyed that that uh, wonderfully brief tutorial on how to use Voice Meter Banana. Please uh, like, subscribe, share, eat, sleep, LeFave, repeat. If you really enjoyed it, become a channel sponsor. 99 cents a month. Show your thanks for the channel, and I really appreciate it. You get a little piece of my heart with that. That's all I got for now. I'll see you guys on the next live stream. LeFave out.